Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Wrecked is here, and Epic may have broken the entire game. I can't help you guys from getting run over by cars or from getting fisted to death by the Nitro Gloves. But what I can do is walk you through the best in-game Fortnite settings. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe as I'm on my way to 2000 subs. But otherwise, guys, it is time for my Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Settings Guide. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is what Epic recommends doing every single new season, and that is updating your graphics driver. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I will be using the NVIDIA app to update my drivers. You can use GeForce Experience if you want to. Also, if you're on AMD, you use the software for AMD. I believe it's AMD Adrenaline. Everyone with an NVIDIA graphics card should have this. It basically has all the different applications and games you play. What I'm going to go is to the Drivers tab on the left. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to update my drivers. In order to actually do that, you just click Check for Updates, and that will show you the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. If you have a new driver, download it and then install it. But for those of you who get hitches or maybe your game just does not feel good, try updating your drivers. Next is the Fortnite Launcher Options. Before we actually get into the game, go to your Epic Games Launcher. This, again, is also very, very important. We're going to be optimizing our Epic Games Launcher's options, which you can get by pressing Library, going to Fortnite. What you want to do is click on the three little dots, go over to Options. And this is where probably my favorite settings are because most people don't know about these and they actually are really really useful for not only making your game feel better but actually for having your whole pc run better so basically what these are are your fortnite installation options it's kind of self-explanatory these are the different options that you can actually install on your pc as part of fortnite so the first is fortnite core in battle royale this is required, and as you can see, it's 60GB. I think that went up a lot in the new season, but then there's also Fortnite Save the World, which is 1GB. I don't have that. High resolution textures, which of you read it? It's files required to play Fortnite more beautifully for 20GB. So if you have this selected, unchecked it, like this, boom, you don't need that. The one other options we didn't talk about yet is DirectX 12 shaders. These, like it says, are shaders required to run Fortnite using DirectX 12. I recommend everyone to play in performance mode, which uses DirectX 11, so we don't need these at all. You can just uncheck them like this, and then hit apply. It's going to undownload them, take them off your PC because you do not need them. So literally, the only installation option you should have is pre-downloaded stream assets. So what this does, according to Fortnite, is that it installs all assets that would normally be streamed during gameplay. That might sound bad because, you know, we've been uninstalling everything. We basically only have 60GB of Fortnite, and having more storage is better. Your PC will run quicker and not be as laggy if you have. Like, no storage. But the reason that we have these 6GB installed is because it's an old setting that used to be called cosmetic streaming. And that not only is going to screw up your performance and your FPS, but because you're downloading literal skins and textures as the match goes on. Your PC is going to be affected. And that is not something we want. That's quite literally like worst thing that can happen. So to disable cosmetic streaming, which is pre-download stream assets, it used to be called disable cosmetic streaming. To do that, we want this checked. We want Fortnite to download all 6GB of skins. That way, when it runs into damn endgame, the skins are already there. It doesn't have to download anything. So click that. Hit apply. Your download size should say 6GB, right? Here if you don't have this already. But make sure your Fortnite installation options like this. Boom. Apply. And yeah. Those are the installation options. But now we can actually boot up Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 settings, so I will see you when they load. Hey, we're going to be going through all of these on Performance Mode, as well as the Rec X11 and the Rec X12. So starting at the top with your display settings, Windows Mode, 
You want this on full screen if you can't. Fortnite even says that in full screen mode, your game will run slightly faster. So keep that in mind. Resolution. I have 1920 by 1080 because that is my native resolution. You could try stretch resolution for an FPS boost. I have a video on how to do it. I'll put the link down in the description. But down over to VSync. VSync in Fortnite. Guys, make sure you have this off. If you have screen tearing, turn it on on your Nvidia control panel. So the frame rate limit goes from 30 all the way up to unlimited. I play on a 165Hz monitor. So I cap my FPS at 165FPS. You could either cap it at your monitor's refresh rate or you could go on above. So if you're on 144Hz, you can go and cap it at 160. It really doesn't matter too much. Just make sure you don't use unlimited because unlimited will result in huge FPS fluctuations and drops that you do not want. Those things will feel like huge stutters. And then lastly, in the display settings, rendering mode, make sure you're on top performance mode for now. After that, we're going to skip the graphics options. We're going to look at that at the end. And we're going to go to your graphics quality for performance mode options. So 3D resolution, I have it 100%. Some of you guys might have this on lower just because it will depend on your specific PC or laptop. Then view distance, I put on year, textures on low and meshes also on low. Before I go to DirectX 12, if you go to your game settings, which is the third tab at the top, and then go down to extra game options, there are some settings that are worth turning off for FPS. Those include your NVIDIA highlights. You can just do that yourself on your desktop. Peripheral lighting, also turn that off. But then your replay settings. I actually recommend turning all of these off. But if you go and read Fortnite's description of it, Recording replays can reduce performance and take up hard drive space. So if you want the best FPS, turn this all off. At the bottom, under replays, for energy saving, turn the enable idle energy saving options off. They don't make a huge difference, but we don't care about saving energy. We want performance. So now, all we have to do, we're going to change our rendering mode to the Rack X12. We're going to apply and we're going to restart. All right. I'm on DX12. Now, if we go into the same settings menu, if we go down to graphics quality on DirectX 11, DirectX 12, so starting at the top of graphics quality, quality preset, put this to low, quality settings guidance, we don't need that because you guys have me, anti-aliasing and super resolution, turn this to off, GPU crashing debugging, this is the other setting, which if you read on the right, enabling these features comes at a small performance cost. We do not want that. Turn that off. Same with report performance stats. But then latency markers, I have this off. And I don't recommend you guys play Fortnite. Like don't play a tournament or don't go into a rank with this on. But this is the settings that allows us to see our latency, aka our input delay in game. The only other settings you do not want to turn off is Nvidia Reflex low latency so put this to on plus boost and then press apply and guys these are the advanced graphics as well as the normal graphics quality options that you want for performance mode so make sure right here in rendering mode put this back to performance and then go back to performance mode so now let's go and tackle the colorblind modes to finish off the video we're going to look as i said at your colorblind setting or your graphics options these ones right here and to do that, I thought that better way than to go to the new biome. So I'll put all the colorblind modes on screen with 100% brightness. Starting with Deuteranope. I think Protonope looks the best season. So we have the in-game Fortnite settings for that. Those are all of them. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, enjoy the season. And try not to get absolutely run over by car. Peace.